The ancient Babylonians were a remarkable bunch of mathematicians. Among many extraordinary achievements, they found a now famous mathematical solution to an unpleasant challenge that is paying tax. The particular problem for the ordinary working Babylonian was this. Given a tax bill that has to be paid in crops, by how much should I increase the size of my field to pay it? This problem can be written down as a quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero and it is solved with the help of this formula. Today over 4000 years later, millions of people have the quadratic formula etched into their mind thanks to the way mathematics is taught across the planet. Many former and current math students have painful memories of struggling to memorize the quadratic formula. A new way to solve quadratic equation has been overlooked for 4000 years and it is so simple that it eliminates the need of memorizing the formula. The new approach developed by mathematician Lo is much easier and very intuitive. It doesn't require the formula to be memorized at all. An interesting question is why nobody has stumbled across and widely shared this method before. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's see what exactly is this shortcut method to solve any quadratic equation. So here what we are going to do, we are going to find coefficient of x square x and the constant, right? We are going to find values of a, b and c. So this guy over here with x square is the coefficient of x square which is 5 this is coefficient of x so b will be equals to minus 4 and of course c is going to be the constant so c is minus 2 okay now uh, here we are going to find something called as sum and we all know the formula for sum is nothing but minus b upon a now here b is minus 4 and there is a negative sign outside so we are going to write like this minus of minus 4 upon 5 which is the coefficient of x square that gives us 4 upon 5 okay now next thing we are going to find is product so product i'll the notation is p and the formula here what you need to remember is c upon a what is c c is negative 2 so we're going to write minus 2 and what is a a is 5 right once you have understood sum and product believe me it is very easy and you can find sum and product very easily uh, you know you don't have to write all this thing very quickly you can say s is minus b upon a so b is minus 4 so minus of minus 4 will give you 4 so 4 upon 5 will be your sum you can quickly write that down and then product is uh, c upon a which is minus 2 upon 5 so this particular part you can do it very quickly in less than five seconds now moving ahead what exactly is a shortcut the shortcut is let me write shortcut now there are two brackets okay there has to be some term here minus the variable in the second bracket some term which has to be the same term plus x equals to something right now what you need to remember is the signs in these two brackets will be opposite okay so you can write plus first and then minus later on your choice now what will come here uh, whatever term comes here it is exactly same over here so what should come here simple look at the sum this guy over here you need to multiply whatever is the term here by half okay now you can simply multiply or you can cancel out like this which will give you 2 and then you will have 2 upon 5 okay so that means i need to write here 2 upon 5 so 2 upon 5 here 2 upon 5 here now the problem is what should i write here now you have to look at this this term exactly as it is you're going to write it here so minus 2 upon 5 right now let's move ahead now what you need to understand is roots these two are going to be the roots. You just need to find out value of x and substitute here. Okay. So we are going to find value of x and substitute here. So this will give you first root and this second bracket will give you second root. Okay. So as of now, I'm going to find what will be the value of x over here. 
this looks like a minus b in first bracket and second bracket a plus b so what does it give a square minus b square am i right so that will be 2 upon 5 the whole square in first bracket okay and then x square and this term will remain as it is i hope you're understanding this this will give you very simple of uh, 4 upon 25 minus x square equals to minus 2 upon 5 right now what we are going to do we are going to take this minus x square term that side and minus 2 upon 5 on this side okay so just let's do that so what do we get 4 upon 25 plus 2 upon 5 when you get this term over here this negative turns out to be positive and this negative x square when it goes on the other side becomes positive x square now we need to make the denominator same or we need to take the lcm so how do i get 25 here simple if i multiply by 5 then you'll have to multiply the numerator as well right so we get 4 upon 25 plus 10 upon 25 equals to x square now you can see the denominator is same 14 upon 25 equals to x square okay so now we can take simple square root okay and i'm going to consider only positive value so let me take x equals to square root of 14 it's not a perfect square and the denominator 25 is a perfect square so you'll get 5 this is the value of x so i told you initially once you have found out the value of x the first bracket if you substitute value of x here you will get first root and if you substitute value of x you will get the second root so let me just take this for your reference okay i need this for my reference so let me take this okay so let me take this for reference fine so let me write down the roots then so ladies and gentlemen the roots are the brackets the first bracket is 2 upon 5 uh, let me consider as plus minus x simply because uh, minus and plus they are same so these are the roots so value of x is root of 14 upon 5 so let us take common denominator here the common denominator is 5 right and then here it comes 2 plus minus root of 14 there you have ladies and gentlemen these are the roots no complex calculation if you observe these are just simple calculations right so let us take another example here the example is 5x square minus 4x minus 3 equal to 0 i have just changed the coefficient over here uh, you can change any coefficient it can be any equation you can solve it now these kind of shortcuts are used in competitive exams uh, it may not be useful for your uh, uh, theory exams because this method is uh, not there in your textbooks but yes you can use it for competitive exams so let us quickly find out what is value of a so value of a is going to be 5 value of b is going to be minus 4 value of c is going to be minus 3 right now let's quickly find sum sum is minus of minus 4 which will give you 4 upon a a is 5 okay product product is c and c is like minus 3 so minus 3 upon a is 5 right now what is the shortcut the shortcut is first term minus x and this first term plus x right equal to something now the first term how do you find the first term you have to multiply this by half right you have to multiply the sum by half so let us cancel out this thing 2 2 is a 4 so what you get is 2 upon 5 so let's quickly substitute here 2 upon 5 2 upon 5 and what do we what do we write here simple whatever is your product the product is minus 3 upon 5 so let me write minus 3 upon 5 over here right now we can quickly solve this thing this looks like a minus b a plus b so this will be 2 upon 5 the whole square minus x square equals to minus 3 upon 5 that gives us 4 upon 25 minus x square equals to minus 3 upon 5 so let us quickly transpose the term minus x will go on that side minus 3 upon 5 on this side so 4 upon 25 plus 3 upon 5 equals to x squared taking lcm what do we need to multiply here to get 25 that's it 5 so 
multiply the numerator as well so you get x square equals to the denominator becomes common 25 so let me just take it up so we get here is 4 plus 15 so therefore x square would be 19 upon 25 just take positive square root very quickly so we have here x equals to root of 19 19 is not a perfect square and 25 is a perfect square the square root is 5 right so we just need to substitute the value of x here right so 2 upon 5 the roots are i'll just write roots are 2 upon 5 plus minus x right if you see here 2 upon 5 minus x 2 upon 5 plus we can just simply write 2 upon 5 plus minus x okay so we just substitute value of x from here which is root of 19 upon 5 so the denominator is same here so we can write common denominator 5 and we have to plus minus root of 19 so how quickly we have got the roots over here so this makes your life very easy Remember this shortcut technique is to be used in your uh, competitive examination theory. This method may not be applicable because it is not approved in the textbook. But yes, this is the fastest method. You can solve any kind of equation, uh, whether it is factorizable by using factorization method or by formula method or by perfect square method. You can simply use this technique and the calculation is very simple. Step one, just find out a, b, c coefficients of x square, x and constant. Find out sum, which is minus b upon a. Find out product and then shortcut is first term minus x first term plus x equals to product right and here what is the first term first term is simply whatever is the sum multiply by half and write it here and equal to the product that's it and just simplify and you get the value of x and whatever is the value of x simply substitute here those are the roots it is so simple do try this method using any equation especially those with perfect square method and formula method believe me this is the fastest method if you have enjoyed learning this shortcut do subscribe to my channel and do hit the like button and if you want more such shortcuts i would like to hear from you all in the comment section and i'll make more such videos thank you very much for listening peace